the world's first rocket, to have the feature, of reusability, the space shuttle, was an iconic rocket, and a space plane, which took off like a rocket, and landed, like an airplane. Indeed, it was one of the masterpieces, of engineering, and one of the most famous rocket, ever flown. The Space Shuttle, is a retired, partially reusable, low-Earth orbit spacecraft, which was operated from, 1981, to 2011, by NASA, as part of the Space Shuttle program. Its official program name, was Space Transportation System, taken from a 1969 plan, for a reusable spacecraft system, where it was, the only item, funded for development. The first of four orbital five, test flights eight, occurred seven, in 1981, six, which led to operational two, flights three, from 1982 two, to 2011. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Five complete, Space Shuttle Orbiter, were built and flown, on a total of 135 missions, from 1981, to 2011, from the Kennedy Space Center, in Florida. Although, Vandenberg Air Force Base, was also considered, as a launch site for the shuttle, it was never used. Operational missions, launched numerous satellites, interplanetary probes, and the Hubble Space Telescope, conducted science experiments, participated, in the Shuttle Mir program, with Russia, and participated in the construction, and servicing, of the International Space Station. All space shuttles, combined total mission time, was 1,323 days. Space Shuttle components, included the orbiter vehicle, with three rocket dyne, RS-25 main engines, a pair of recoverable solid rocket boosters, and an expendable external tank, containing liquid hydrogen, and liquid oxygen. The Space Shuttle, was launched vertically, like a conventional rocket, with the two SRBs, operating along with, the orbiter's RS-25 main engines, which were fueled from, the external tank. The SRBs were jettisoned, before the vehicle reached orbit, while the main engines continued to operate. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation, guidance now converging, Atlanta steering into the center lane of Highway 129 en route to the International Space Station. The external tank was jettisoned, after main engine cutoff, and just before orbit insertion. So neither the SRBs, nor did the external tank, reached orbit. The SRBs, splashed down on water, using parachutes, and the external tank, burned up in the atmosphere. The RS-25 engines, didn't consume 100% fuel, of the external tank, and was cut off, before the tank was completely dry, to save the engines, from any damage, because the RS-25 main engines, were reusable.
In fact, some of the used RS-25 engines, are still being used, in the SLS rocket. After the separation of the external tank, the orbiter used, its two orbital maneuvering system, or OMS engines. These engines, gave the final push to the orbiter, to get into orbit. At the conclusion of the mission, the orbiter fired its OMS engines, to the orbit, and re-entered the atmosphere. The orbiter was protected, during re-entry, by its thermal protection system tiles, and it glided as a space plane, to a runway landing, usually to the shuttle landing facility, at the Kennedy Space touchdown. Center, Florida. Linus's nose being now rotated down toward the runway, the uh, chute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis now comes home to the Kennedy Space Center for the final time. 25 years, 32 flights, and more than 120 million miles traveled. The legacy of Atlantis now in the history books. Or to Rogers Dry Lake, in Edwards Air Force Base, California. If the landing occurred at Edwards, the orbiter was flown back to Kennedy, atop the shuttle carrier aircraft a specially modified Boeing 747.